Welcome back everybody. In this video I'll be working on slicks. As you can see I've changed some of the artwork uh, and I'll be talking about uh, what I've changed and what my plans are and also how I've done this. Uh, as you can see the first thing I've done is implemented these poles and hopefully it looks like that they're coming towards the player. Uh, obviously it's it's just an illusion, it's just hiding and showing different uh, ob uh, you know, sprites. Uh, and I've made it so this uh, car just looks like it's overtaking us. And hopefully it looks like we are moving down the road and this is overtaking us as we are moving down the road. Uh, but the main thing I've done is implement this little bar. So when I when I do nothing, it uh, like automatically goes to zero. Uh, but when I mash A button, it, uh, it moves up. And this is basically just ripped from Ticket Racing 2. It's just... Uh, automatically moving down and when I press the button it sets it to sets a value for true and it moves up uh, but the idea is that when I when I then press the up button uh, it will uh, up the gear and the uh, the intention is that um, as the gears increase so does the speed and therefore you know us our, our speed versus the other uh, driver inc increases or decreases based on their speed as well uh, and then it will slowly lead us to the end of the race. I haven't uh, inputted any of that stuff yet. It's just uh, all visual and testing purposes. Uh, but you can see um, the idea is there. And I can increase the uh, gears or decrease them. Uh, but I'll now talk about and show you how I've done this. So obviously before we had this thing. And I've reordered the sprites in the, in the file. So that... Um, the zero is is I think it's empty, and then it, it increases the size as it comes on. So um, just so that when zero is zero is hidden. Um, but yeah, that was obviously the last level, and now moving in, you can see this hidden thing is now the car, and it and it now knows um, like it has a value setting it to the correct thing, and it only updates when I when I set this value to false of updated car. Uh, it's just one of my classic uh, things to make sure it doesn't flicker. Uh, you see I've made it so if the variable is false, it then does whatever it needs to do and then sets the value to true. So when I need to update this value, I just set this uh, variable to false and it, will, uh, and it will mean that it's not constantly checking to see if the, you know, where the car is along this route and therefore it doesn't flicker because I've made it so that it's, it hi basically hides it when uh, when it's moving it to the position because um, I found that if you if you move it and then update it then it like it bounces and jumps around and it doesn't look very great uh, so that's the reason why I've done that and obviously it's just checking to see which value this is and each one of them is different value um, so yeah and the posts you see I have five uh, actors along here and it's simply for the reason that um, I want more than one on the screen at once. I would do what I had with the car here, whether it each gets set to the same position, but I like the idea there's many posts and they, uh, you know, their update speed changes based on the car speed. You can see here as well, I have a, uh, I have an actor that keeps track of the gears and obviously the zero uh, frame is like a dash, just indicate there's no, no gear. Uh, and then the rest is from 1 to 7, and obviously I might make it so that when the car upgrades, it can have more gears, and therefore get faster speeds, uh, but I haven't uh, yet decided that. Uh, but yeah, I think that the effect it creates is quite nice. The fact that this, uh, obviously it kind of looks like we're reversing it. It all depends on how your brain perceives it. Like, if you believe that it's going this way, then it kind of is going that way. If you guys have ever seen that classic gif of a train going by, like if you can trick your brain into thinking it's going the opposite way uh, based on the little amount of frames giving you not enough information and your brain has to decide. Uh, obviously, if you wanted to, you could also focus and it will just be it will just be hiding and flashing, you know, each one and you can make it look like it's coming to, to the middle or something. So, yeah, it's all it's all on, in your brain. And if you believe it's coming by, then it goes by. Uh, and that's, uh, you have to use that to your advantage in, you know, these kind of games. Uh, but hopefully I'm going to be, I'll tell you my plans for how I'm going to make this happen. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate the scene basically. Uh, and mainly because I want it to be, um, 
easily, you know, each gear will have its own scene. Uh, so then the gear indicates the speed. Um, and basically then the speed goes towards, uh, you know, making these these poles go by. And then it's how easy it is to get to the next gear is basically the difficulty. And then how fast the other car is going uh, is based upon, you know, your speed versus their speed. Uh, and that'll be another difficulty thing that we set in a different menu, you know, where we're choosing the race. Uh, so yeah, after I've, I'll try and, I think I'll try and get this all together and then test it out and see how uh, easy it is to set up a bigger game and then set up like three different races, you know, and you have to unlock the, each one by winning the last one and then a couple of upgrades. Uh, and some money where if you win you get some money and that helps you buy the upgrades. Uh, I think it'll be as simple as that. Obviously I I don't want to spend too long on it because uh, I have other games to do and the vision isn't completely solid but it's definitely quite strong and since this is such a small game I can do this. I know I can. Um, and I recommend you guys make small games as well just so you can get your ideas into the wild and uh, test your skills, you know. Uh, make small ideas, especially with uh, GB Studio, it's kind of limiting, and you should use those limitations to your success, basically. I just want to thank my patrons, they'll be up on screen right now. Remember to like the video if you like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'd love to hear your comments on what you think of this and how it's going. I, uh, I think I like the fact that it's uh, very, you know, small on the screen, it's kind of got this arcade style vibe. Um, obviously the the main intent of it will be to get to the green line and then just press up to change gear. Um, and it'll be simple, but I think it'll be quite effective. I might try and make some music for this. Obviously, it'd be great to hear what you guys think about that. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.